Hello, this is the Trade Tech U.S. Stocks and Futures Market Preview for Wednesday, the 24th of April, 2019. Hope you had a good trading Tuesday. It was a great day for us. Good winners in the futures. One on Amazon, FSLR, Adobe. I mean, just a solid day. We've been waiting for something like that for a while, and it was just excellent. So uh, hopefully a couple days a week like that. Even though volume was light, we'll talk about that in a minute. Here's a look at the ES front month futures contract. This is the daily chart of the broad market and futures form as it approaches new highs. It's been a slow, steady creep up and nothing exciting. And the volume is weak. Look at the volume even on the futures. Volume is down in the last month as we try to approach the highs. That is not a good sign for the market. It never is. It doesn't typically happen like this. Crude oil down 20 cents to 66.10. Gold gains 60 cents to 1273.80. S&P cash gains 25.71. So again, I think... I think that's about a new closing high on the broad market. NASDAQ 100 up 97.22. So again, reclaiming the highs up 2,000 points almost, or up uh, 1,800 points since the Christmas week low. The SOX up 15.76. Biotech's up 71.62. Again, the problem here is as go banks and biotechs, so goes the market is the expression. Banks and biotechs, or the biotechs in particular, are down. Um, there's no volume on the upward move. It's like a lack of sellers more than it is actual buyers. Russell's nowhere. The Russell often, often leads. The Russell, if it were to break 1,600 or so, that would actually be really interesting on the Russell index. But uh, other than that, it's been very flat. VIX, and again, this is usually the Russell runs leading into tax day, not after. A lot of people invest in the uh, small cap stocks early in the year before the with the IRA money. Uh, the VIX down 14 cents. Trend closes at 1.08. That puts the 10 day moving average at 1.16. That doesn't tell us anything. NASDAQ volume shows us at 2 billion shares. It was 1.9 at the close, so not very good. Advanced decline ratio on the NASDAQ was plus 13.08. On the New York, plus 14.57. Google gains $16.83. Approaching the all time highs within a day or so on Google, really in range at this point. Apple up 295, not at all-time highs. Netflix gains four dollars and sixty-five cents. Note the thirteen sell signal yesterday, so that's going to be interesting as that plays out. We'll see where uh, where the risk line lands for that one and, and what that means for Netflix. Amazon up thirty-six forty-six. Big day for Amazon. We had a nice winner on Amazon today. Good good winner. Can't can't complain about that. Tesla up a buck fifteen. Facebook gains two dollars and thirty-four cents. Goldman Sachs. Down 46 cents. This is what's still interesting. Look at the banks are also basically going nowhere. The banks and biotechs are not moving, but the market's up, but on no volume. It's not a great combination. Just be aware of that. TLT, the 20-year bond ETF, up 26 cents. The Dow was up 145. The Dow has been sitting in this range for a while here. That is an inverse head and shoulders formation on the Dow, by the way, but we'll see what that comes down to. Uh, in terms of intraday action, here's the five-minute candle. So we gapped up small. Never filled it, small gap, never filled it on the ES, like literally two or three points, and then just ran for the first, all the way into lunch. And then look at that. The minute lunch hit, they all walked away. Oh, good money made. Let's go away. Never came back. The rest of the day was just dead flat. But it helped all of our calls. NASDAQ side, pretty much the same deal. That's it. Um, on the Russell, yeah. All right. Uh, in terms of economic data coming out on Wednesday, the only thing is crude oil inventories now are into the market. So there's not much there. We do have earnings season still for two more days. Nothing else to really talk about. Charts as usual brought to you by eSignal. If you've not yet taken a trial of our services, feel free to do so. We will help you out for a couple of weeks. Have a great trading Wednesday.